when the arab spring was crushed down uh, that was a big betrayal you know uh, but then at the same time you also have to understand uh, that uh, the west especially the military industrial complex it controls a whole lot of these regimes and all so everything again is geopolitical how much benefit they have and whether they would be willing to partnership with the saudi government qatar government iran government you know all of these back deals are going on so they really don't care what happens with the people arab spring was more of disgruntled population at the end even if you are a pious muslim a pious hindu a pious christian all you want is good health care right you need roads and hospitals and schools you need a better lifestyle uh, you need money economic has to improve so all of these were disgruntled populations who didn't want the regimes the dictators the tyrants to continue right same thing happening in iran if you see uh, the, what happened after masha amini it's more of a trigger but there were already protests happening in various cities of iran because people were protesting there was no drinking water uh, healthcare facilities were not good there was a lot of corruption among the right. Uh, right so all of this was already happening what happened was masha amini's custodial murder triggered another revolution you can see the videos coming out of iran are very inspiring you know it's it's amazing the bravery that they are yeah. showing against the revolutionary guard but again being skeptical that some western uh, power might interfere again considering some back deals going on so that is always there that is always there but so far as we can see it's an organic movement